Welcome to the Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. Today, this episode will tell you a little bit more about what to do with the U.S. ration. Here's another option. One great way to make that ration go farther, make soup. Especially if you're in a camp where you expect to be overnight and you have time and you're working in camp. So this is great for a lot of living history situations. Camp soup was the name of the recipe. It comes out of the military handbook and soldier's manual that was sold by the Beetle Company. Same people who did the dime novels. Let's take a look at it. The ingredients come out of the ration, so they're really simple. It's eight ounces or about half a day's ration of salt pork, two ounces of rice, uh, about a teaspoon of sugar, and five hardtack. Actually, the recipe calls for six ounces. We measured it out on a scale. For us, that got to be five pieces of hardtack. And then additional to the ration, they ask for, if you have it, about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Add that with two and a half pints or five cups of water, and you're gonna have a great soup. Let's go ahead and look how we make it. The first thing, this is not the way your salt pork looks. Your salt pork comes with a lot of salt on it and grimy. We're going to care for the salt pork since we're in camp the best that we can to get the best tasting recipe out. We have scraped all the extra salt off the salt pork. We've washed it and now we're going to do something called parboiling. This is uh, special in the time period. Most times when you see a uh, recommendation to boil salt pork, it says to put the water and the pork in at the same time, bring it up to boil together. Parboiling, we're only partially cooking the meat. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with boiling water and this is not the five cups of water or the two and a half pints. This is extra. This is to prepare the pork to make the soup. We've cut up our salt pork after washing and scraping it. We're gonna go ahead and carefully put it here into the boiling water and we're gonna return it to the fire. We're gonna leave that there to boil for 20 minutes. We'll come back and then we'll prepare and make the soup with you. Well, 20 minutes has passed and the salt pork is parboiled, partially boiled and a lot more of the salt came out. We drained that water off and now we've put five cups or two and a half pints of fresh cold water back into our pot. We'll put the pork back into this and then we will take the two ounces of rice and put that in. We're now gonna put this on the fire, bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna back it down to a simmer for an hour. Simmering means you want just a little bit of bubbles around the edges. You don't want a rolling boil through the middle. You can reduce the heat either by backing it off the fire or if you have the better opportunity to, raising it up away from the heat a little bit. We'll come back after that's done and we'll finish making the soup. Well, we're back. It's been an hour. You saw a shot how we took the soup that was starting. It's the salt pork, the rice, and the water. Kept it above the fire enough to keep just a light bubble, what we call a simmer, for an hour. That's gone on. Now the next step is we're going to take those five pieces or those six ounces of hard crackers and we're going to break them up into the soup. This is just going to add some thickness and for those of you who know how hard hardtack can sometimes be, this hardtack's really nice to work with, but some of it's hard as nails. You might have to bust it up with a rock or a musket butt or something like that. The recipe says to put it in there for 10 minutes and let it go. So we'll wait 10 minutes and we'll be back to finish up here. So we're back, we've waited the 10 minutes. The hardtack has become a part of the soup. The previous soup had boiled or simmered for an hour, and now we've got the hardtack become part of it. It's time to add the final two components, and that is a quarter teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of sugar. In the same spot in the military handbook and soldier's manual where this soup comes, there's a list of several soups. And one thing they mention is something we didn't have today. That's they mention if you can get four ounces of any vegetable, they say potato, onion, celery, turnip, or anything of the like, it will really help the soup. If you put that in the same time you put the salt pork in and let it stew for or then simmer for that hour, it makes a better stew. So for the Civil War Digital Digest, I will. We're gonna go ahead and dish up some of this and serve it for dinner here in our camp. We hope you take time, make it in your camp, and try the same. If you've enjoyed the episode, hit like on it, please, for us, and we'd love to have you consider subscribing to the Civil War Digital Digest. <laughs>